Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, let's take a look again on the gold market. It's a real tragic market in recent week. So it was really some shock on the market, some negative surprise for all investors when rates climbed about to actually 150, reached 1.6% 1 uh, in interest level, so it was not expected actually. And that has led to acceleration to the downside in the gold market as well. So in general, everything goes with our view, long-term view that we started to share with you somewhere in December when we said that we see the signs that global economy is turning to the bullish cycle period. And uh, this period usually uh, suggests rising on inflation, economic growth, demand for the industrial commodities, uh, and, well, poor moment for a goal, because this is not the inflation recycle of the uh, depression in the economy, but the inflation recycle of the growth. In this period, usually demand for the industry commodities, such as crude oil, for instance, basic metals, copper, rising, as you can see on the cover, for instance, 8% uh, rally just on the recent week, reaching of the long-term highs, while correspondingly as depressed gold. And uh, that is what we have talked about in the recent uh, couple of months, probably. And we see, and we said that as, as far as we are going uh, to uh, to the summer, to the end of the spring, the more science, the more evidence there will be uh, of, the, of the process that we just discussed. But since this is just the beginning of this period, we will see a lot of pullbacks on the gold market. We see the pullbacks on the interest rates it's just because of how market works. They, they are not turning in the blink of an eye, but they are turning gradually. We're showing the, on the first stages of some long-term cycle uh, rising volatility, a lot of uh, comebacks, and the gold probably will not be an exception. So we could say that on the gold market we will see a few rallies probably before it all will be over. And one rally we could get as early as in next week. So here is a combination of the factors that stand currently at one point. Uh, in general, I would say that if you are searching, if you have the bearish view on the gold and you're trading mostly on the high time frames, weekly chart, um, then in this case probably you will not be interested with this short-term bullish context, short-term bullish setup. One you think that you could wait is just, uh, and you could do actually, is just to sit on the hands and wait where the pullback will happen. Once market will reach some important resistances, you could consider taking the new short position. That's common approach to the um, traders who trade on the daily and above time frames. Because currently it's not a good point for taking the new short as market stands at the first sold. On the weekly and the daily chart, it stands at the, at the support area. An agreement on the weekly chart as well, so it suggested some pullback. But what is more important is that in, common, in the coming week we have two other factors that supports the possible pullback on the call. First of all, if, as you know, yesterday, so 1.9 trillion Biden's pack has been approved. And that will be a supportive factor for the gold. So I'm not excluding the gap opening on the gold market right on Monday. Second, if you'll take a look at the interest rates, this rates an upper direction that we discussed and was a bit surprising right to the 1.6 area. Well, market has returned it back down right below the 142. And that is normal. Because if you'll take a look at the weekly chart, you will see that we stand in strong resistance. It's very long-term resistance, guys. It stands uh, since 2012, probably maybe in earlier, 
on interest rates was the support. Now it will be resistance, and it's also 30% resistance, also agreement resistance with this ABCD OP target. Since we stand in the first swing to the upside, we expect the pullback on the market. We do not know whether it will start right here, it will be a bit later, but what we do know with the high probability, before the major swing to the upside on the interest rates will fall, we will get the significant pullback somewhere to the one even area, maybe even lower, maybe to the 90 area right here. And that will be the background for the cold rally. It's because some investors right now think that uh, all these reflation games, which sorts of talking about uh, rebound in the economy and that interest rates are just a uh, first sign of the coming growth and inflation. Well, some investors think that these reflation games are mostly emotional, speculative. And when the markets will see the results and take a look at the statistics on the Fed policy, they will house these reflation games. And uh, within a couple of months, everything will back to its own. And it will be, again, long-term expectation of the economy uh, recover. We are not really agree with that, but this opinion exists on the market and on this uh, economy statistics could answer on this question. If we will get the good numbers within the two or three months, it's become maybe evident that will be not a, uh, some emotional reflationary games, but that will be a real tendency that could become very soon a uh, well, common tendency for the market. But anyway, uh, even from the technical point of view, Pullback here should happen, and as I said, on the gold market we could see not once, not twice, but some possible of the recovery. And next week we could get the first one. So, with this back, um, with these factors on the background, as you can see, overall uh, situation stands interesting and it's, uh, friendly for possible retracement. On the daily chart, you also could see that market stands at the very solid area. But the levels that market could reach with this bounce, first of all, one will be around, around 1810. And 30% sale probably will be somewhere around 1850, just because this is a strong confidence area. And take a look at the company for the verbody level. So hardly market will break it up on the coming week. So we set uh, this level as potential ultimate level for the coming week. On the front end from chart, you could see that 1810 also is a confidence this 1815 area and speaking about the patterns that theoretically could be formed so actually we already have the steep butterfly here but as it stands for the 161 extension the most logical thing to suggest is that could be the hand shoulders so for instance market could return back up to the 1850 showing the pullback in respect of the confluence and then then it could be some kind of the a b c bottom d to the 1150 so theoretically that's most optimistic scenario that could could be realized of course, some other patterns could be formed here. For instance, it could be the first some jump up, then some got the cheaper to buy, for instance, and then market could reestablish that protection. It's also is possible. Uh, but with the strong fundamental factors on the background, it's more probable the aggressive action in the beginning of the week. So that's approximately what we are watching for on the gold market. Once again, if you trade on the daily high time frames, your choice will be just sit on the hands and wait for the pullback and watching for gold and the strong resistance where you could take the short position. If you trade on the daily intraday charts, well, maybe this potential stop might be interesting as um, trade for one, two, maybe even three sessions. And it could be taken here if um, everything will go well, according to our expectation, as we just have discussed. So let's see what the action we will get on the next week.